JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakidis of JSA, and joining me today is Stefan Nielsen. He is the Chief Commercial Officer at Canopto. Stefan, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, so this is your fourth Data Cloud Global Congress. Yeah, two in Monaco and uh, now two in Cannes. So. Yeah, and I think everyone, uh, from what I'm hearing, is preferring Cannes, and it's the 20th anniversary. Very much so. Yeah, Data Canada. Cloud. Cannes is much better, actually. So a lovely venue, great city, nice location. So, yeah, really yeah, enjoying it. Definitely. So let's talk a little bit about Canopto's Stockholm 4, a uh, South facility which has been highlighted for its AI readiness and sustainability features. Why don't you share a little bit more about this project and how it reflects your approach to designing and building data centers? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, Stockholm 4 is, is our, our biggest facility so far in Stockholm. We uh, are a data center operator having four facilities in Stockholm, uh, mainly focused uh, on enterprise uh, traditional collocation. Now with Stockholm 4, we had the, the chance to design and build something from ground up, uh, meaning that we could also take in consideration uh, the AI uh, of the world. So, so designing a facility where we can actually do both high-density AI deployments, uh, regardless if it's air-cooled or, or, or liquid-cooled, uh, and at the same time still sell the type of traditional uh, standard retail colo. So it's in two floors, so designed for, for high-density deployments on the ground floor and more traditional raised floor deployments on the, on the upper floor. And uh, as we are in Stockholm, uh, sustainability is key for us. So obviously running it on 100% renewables is, is, is a, a key factor for us. And then on top of that, we can do innovative stuff like heat reuse to the district heating system. Uh, and also use our uh, excess battery capacity to do grid support to the national grid and stuff like that, which has earned us a few awards actually lately. So we're, we're very proud of the facilities. Well, it sounds like a state-of-the-art, uh, cutting-edge facility there. In yeah, Stockholm it's brand Park. new, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll have to check it out. Uh, Stockholm next. Yeah, definitely. You're most welcome. Thank you. I would love. I've never been... But let's talk a little bit more. I mean, you talked a lot about the sustainability yep. and integrating the renewable energy sources. Let's dive into the heat reuse yep. a little bit. Let me give viewers a little bit more about the heat reuse and how you're using that into your operations to enhance energy efficiency and support the grid at the same time. Yeah. Take a little bit deeper dive into that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so heat reuse for us is, is, is a key strategy. We have uh, uh, built a strategy in Stockholm that we will not build out any new capacity if we cannot hook up that capacity to district heating. Because that's one of the best ways, to be honest, for a data center operator to become a, a contributor to the local yeah. community instead of just consuming a lot of energy. Uh, so, so what we do is that we, we uh, before we actually enter into an agreement to build anything or design anything, we always have the district heating owners and the municipalities with us in the discussion in terms of how we should do it, how we should design it, what type of capacity that they would like to take. Uh, so so we, we really become an important asset for them. We're, we're like a heat resource for them for in the their community. network. Yeah. So the, the people that's living around our, our, our facilities, the showering water, the, the, the heated water that they're using, it's, coming it's actually from coming from us. Yeah. So, so, so it should which, be mandatory everywhere. It should, but it, it, the, the thing for us is that we're, we're lucky in, in terms of that we are in Stockholm because Stockholm has one of the best built-out district heating networks in Europe. It's more than 3,000 kilometers of piping, and we've been building that out for, I'm not sure, maybe hundreds of years. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a great asset, and it's, it's a great way for us to, to actually be, be, become an interesting player in the community instead of that not in my backyard syndromes yeah. that you see all, all across the globe. We don't see that in Stockholm, to be honest. Because you're such an important part yeah. of the community at this phase. So, well, let's talk about the increasing demand for scalable, flexible data center solutions. How are you addressing the challenges of rapid deployment and modular expansion yeah. to meet your clients' needs? Absolutely. And that, that's I would say that that's probably the biggest challenge or the biggest development that the industry has seen over the past maybe just two or three years in terms of the customers now needs 
more capacity and they need it yesterday. Yeah. Uh, uh, a few years ago, we could have a customer signing a contract and then moving in like six, 12, 18 months later. Not no, today. not today. So, so that means that we as an operator need to build our facilities in a very flexible way. So we, we have power pods on one side, cooling pods on the other, so we can add pre-populated pods and grow as long as we grow with, together with the customers, which makes it much faster for us to deploy capacity. And on the, uh, the battery pack, for example, we can actually also, with the grid support part, we can actually deploy more battery capacity earlier than we actually use because we can offset that capacity and sell that back to the national grid. So we can actually monetize our investments even if we don't have customers on it which means that we can build out capacity much faster from that perspective. And that's how we as an industry needs to do it. A lot of partnerships, a lot of close partnerships, a lot of logistical uh, things that needs to be covered. But I think that that's, that's the way for, forward. Do it in a in modular way, do it in, in a flexible way, build it as you grow and be really fast to deploy when you can. Sounds like you're setting the pace uh, in Stockholm. Yeah, we hope so. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Is there anything else that you want to add? And please do let viewers know where they can go to learn more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can go to uh, conapto.com. Uh, we have everything on our website. And then uh, if you see me on LinkedIn, just ping me and uh, we can have a conversation about why you should be in Stockholm. Yeah. And viewers, thank you for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV. Stefan, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you very much. And happy networking. Thank you.